Spacelift blueprints are a means for engineers to provide self-service architecture to those that just want to deploy the infrastructure they need without having to configure all of the knobs and dials of a typical infrastructure deployment. Blueprints allow engineers to configure the approved defaults and guardrails needed to allow others to deploy reliable and secure deployments for themselves through stacks. Let's take a look. So here we have a few blueprints. Two of them are published, which means they are now read only. You cannot edit these blueprints, but you can create stacks from them. And we have a draft here, which of course can still be edited, but you cannot create the stack. Now this blueprint here, if I click on create stack, you can see an example. So here we can name the stack, provide a space for the stack, choose whether we should automatically trigger a run once the stack is created, and even pass in an environment variable, such as an instance size. Now to see what that looks like, let's go ahead and create a blueprint. We'll just call that test blueprint. Choose a space. Add a description. Then you can also add labels. Let's create that blueprint draft and let's edit that blueprint. And here you can see a lot of options. There is a great amount of sample material here that you should take a look at. This will show most of the possibilities for ways to create this blueprint and add customizability. You can even open a command palette, which will give you a lot of other options to edit this blueprint. If you click on preview, you can see what is here now. As you can see, it's very similar to the one we had before, except the Git repository of the stack allows for an input instead of being hard-coded. And as you can see over here, all of those inputs are set within an inputs block and then passed into the stack options and the options options. If I delete all of this and pass in this blueprint here, we can click on preview and see we have the same blueprint as we had before. So I'll go ahead and save it which then creates the draft right here. And to publish, I just need to open that again and click on publish. So once the blueprint is published, I can just click on create stack here, pass in a name for the stack, choose the space. And as you can see here, we have this Boolean to choose whether we'd like to trigger a run upon stack creation or not. And we can pass in the variable for the size of the instance. I'll click on create stack. And here we are. We are now in our brand new stack with everything set exactly the way we wanted it. If we go into settings, you can see the repository is already set, even though it wasn't chosen. So that's all for that blueprints feature right now. If you've got an enterprise account, go ahead and jump in and get testing.